Hey guys, it's Matt again from Gadget University. I have with me today the Samsung Galaxy S Pro, which is also known as the Samsung Epic 4G for Sprint. Uh, this is a Galaxy S phone. This is one of the phones that came along with the Galaxy S lineup in the U.S. Uh, with the Captivate, the Vibrant, the Fascinate, and you have the Epic. Uh, it has the 5-row QWERTY keyboard uh, with uh, shortcut keys along the side, which are really great. Full arrow keys, numerical pad across the top. You have a 4-inch AMOLED screen uh, with a front-facing camera. You have the uh, charging port across the top along with the 3.5 millimeter uh, for the headphone jack. Uh, along the side, you have the camera button and you have the sleep-wake button. Uh, on the right-hand side, you have, excuse me, on the left-hand side, you have the volume rocker. Um, I've had a couple days to play with this phone, and this is probably one of my favorite uh, Android phones out there. Uh, the build quality is very solid. If you can hear this mechanism when you're sliding it, it's very smooth. It's very solid. Um, let me show you something here. Look at the mechanism here, and let me try to lock in focus. If you see, there is no give when you rock it side to side. Let me get a little bit closer so you can see that. Oh. There we go. See that? Very little. Very little. Most phones you get that slide, you can twist it to the left and to the right. No, this is this was done very well. I'm, I'm very pleased with the hardware, the overall um, construction of the phone. You look at the keys. The keys are, way, are raised slightly. There you go. You see right here. The keys are raised slightly, so there is a little bit of uh, differentiation between the each key, so you can feel it. Uh, you don't have to actually look. Uh, it's very comfortable. It's very spread out. Uh, you don't have to worry about mistyping unless you have extremely large fingers, um, which is uh, something that Samsung cannot do anything about. But for the most part, um, it has Android 2.1 with a touch of a uh, touch whiz, and for the uh, applications that Sprint you know, put on there, they preloaded some applications. You have an Asphalt 5 demo. Um, you have the Sprint TV, Sprint Hotspot, you know, the Sprint Football app. Um, the Hotspot actually works very well. Um, you just touch it and click that, and that's it. And it specializes. It uh, highlights your uh, notification bar with an a, a indication that you have the Hotspot on, so you know it's running. Um, this is a 4G capable device, so if you're in a 4G area, it will get 4G speeds uh, with the hotspot. So it doesn't just limit it to the data on the phone, but you will get 4, um, you will be able to share your 4G uh, speeds to the devices that are connected to this. Um, the it sets up the SSID and the password for the hotspot automatically, so it's very simple for anybody that just wants to turn it on and use it. Um, you get the about seven home screens with TouchWiz and a lot of cool widgets. Um, one of the coolest things I like is the task manager. Um, you can manage your task and, and you can take your memory usage from here. Um, I love the um, way the screen moves. Uh, we got the like these uh, wallpapers and everything. Let me show you some of the cool wallpapers that come with it. Uh, let me do the ocean waves one. And let's give it a chance to load here. Uh, if you give me one moment, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights so we can see what it really looks like. Give me one moment. Okay. All right. We're, we're back. I have the lights off now so you can see uh, what this looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and set this. And you see it responds to my touch. So I can touch that and then it creates ripples in the water. And it's very, you see how fluid it is? That just shows that the, you know, the Galaxy S is that extra GPU that just makes it just amazing. I mean, you see stuff like this and it's no... There's no lag at all. You can switch it, boom, just like water. Um, web browsing is great on this. Um, I must say that because of the keyboard, um, it does change the experience a little bit better um, because you're able to go on the forums and and uh, areas where you have to type a lot. I mean. It, the virtual keyboard on Android is great. I mean, uh, I'm not knocking that, but having a very comfortable keyboard changes the game um, 
for for me. Uh, I must say that this is probably the better of the Galaxy S lineup, only because of the keyboard. But the this one actually has the front-facing camera, so you you can use Quick and you can use Fring uh, to video chat with people. And the other Galaxy S phones don't have that. I mean, you don't have the option to even um, video chat um, with a front-facing camera because they omitted that from the hardware. Um, so other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, everything else is pretty standard. Um, for those that are unfamiliar with, with Android, you still have the conversation style, um, text messages. Um, you have access to all your email. You can do Exchange, uh, IMAP, and POP. Uh, you can, games are, are pretty good on, on Galaxy S devices, uh, especially this one. Um, you can have access to uh, Google Voice, Google Talk. As well as Google Maps, so you have you can use Sprint Nav, Sprint Nav, their navigational service for a fee a month. But um, Google provides Google Maps, and you can use that for free. Uh, so if you are, you know, tight on a budget and you like things for free, 99, um, by all means, the Google Maps navigation is pretty darn good. Uh, let me show you what the front-facing camera looks like. Uh, hold on. And you go to shooting mode, and you go to self shot, and it changes to the front. So there you go. You can see yourself and take a picture, and you can upload it. Um, there's a lot of little touches that I like about this phone, um, like uh, the sounds that it makes when you turn the phone on and off. Um, the other phones don't make this noise. I wish there was a way to get them on the other phones, but they did a lot of things different with each of the phones, and I like that um, you're able to uh, see that. Let me go ahead and power it off, and you hear the noise. I mean, that's just cool. I mean, you can't you can't knock that. Uh, it sounds like a little spaceship or something like that. Um, let me go ahead and turn it back on. There we go. See how quick that boot was? Um, that was that's excellent compared to most phones out there, smartphones out there. That is a quick turnaround um, for a power on, power off uh, situation. Um, you see, they did a lot of little things like that that make it just uh, pretty cool. Let me show you what happens when you call. Okay, you see what happens? If somebody calls you, you can drag it up. And do a voice call. You can ignore it. You can ignore it with a text. So let me ignore it with a text. And you get an option to do I'll call later. I'm in a meeting. I'm driving in class. Okay. Let me uh, show you some of the multimedia features that the phone has. Um, you go to, but it's not like uh, it, it was the reason why I bought the phone. <laughs> All right. And then the, mu the movies on this phone are awesome because you don't have to convert them. All you do is take it and drag it to your phone, and you have a movie on your phone. iPhone, you have to do all that conversion and iTunes stuff. Nexus One, you have to do that whole convert, uh, converting it. Not with this. Well, guys, I uh, thank you for watching the review. Thanks to Samsung for sending this out. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys are looking for a great QWERTY keyboard and you're looking for a 4 and you're in a 4G area, I highly, highly recommend that you get the Sprint Epic 4G. Um, other options, you know, comparable on Sprint would be the Evo, but uh, Evo doesn't have a keyboard. Um, the Evo does have a larger screen, but it does not have the keyboard. And I think that this QWERTY 5 row keyboard is the best in the industry right now. Um, better than BlackBerry, and I, I did say that. Um, BlackBerry users who are looking for a good solid phone android phone um this is it right here all right y'all have a great evening and i will see you guys in my next video